Hello and good evening to all my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Jamie here. It has been a very, very long time since I've put out a video. But today is the day. Today, I just feel that, um, number one, I believe that my brothers and sisters in Christ need some encouragement today. And number two, there's so much to talk about since I've made my last video, so I just want to take a few minutes to kind of share with you some things that's been on my mind and on my heart. Uh, number one, um, I do still love Jesus with all my heart, and um, I think of you folks all the time, all the time. Never forgot about you. Um, I miss all the, all the walks and all the talks that I've had in the past with you all, and I pray that I get more opportunity coming up here in the future to chat with you all some more but what I want to cover today um, that I feel you know led my heart to talk about is just the things that's going on around us right now you know we live in a day and age where um, you know things are pretty scary or could be pretty scary especially for those who don't know Jesus and even some of us that do know Jesus you know sometimes that old fear creeps in and you know that's what the enemy wants the enemy wants us to be afraid the enemy wants us to be scared and um you know i see this in i see it in black and white i see it all around um you know i gotta confess even myself there's times i hear things and i'm just like oh, wait a minute and then i gotta remind myself jesus christ told us not to fear not to be afraid in these last days we live in if anything, by the things that are going on and the, the signs around us should be really an exciting time deep down inside because we know as um, prophecy uh, keeps going on and on and on, we know that as time draws near that the ultimate excitement is going to be when Jesus Christ calls us home in those eastern skies and we go to be with him forever and for all eternity. You know, and as you all know in the past when I've made videos, um, the one thing I think about a lot is heaven. Um, you know, um, Pastor Dave, he actually made a video today where he was talking about um, the colors we're going to see, um, the beauty, the smells, I mean the food that we're going to eat up there is going to be absolutely amazing. But... Um, we live in some pretty dangerous times, no doubt, you know, with North Korea, um, you know, taunting and, and um, the things going on with them and, you know, wars and rumors of wars all around us, everywhere we look, everywhere we, we hear about, it seems like there's always wars and stuff going on. And it seems like that there's, there's a lot of, a lot of angry people, um, Sin is is rampant in this country um, that we live in, and it's a sign of the times. And you know, I believe with all my heart. I've always believed that the rapture is very, very close. I do believe in the rapture. And for those of you who don't, I will remind you. I will not argue with you. If you don't believe in the rapture of the church, then so be it. I do with all my heart. And I'm not going to argue with you, but most of the people that I talk to, they do believe that Jesus Christ is going to come and, and bring us home. But uh, I just want you all to, to really reflect. What I find myself doing is reflecting on you know the things to come, um, the excitement of being with Jesus Christ in heaven, um, our new home that we're going to be spending all eternity in. And I get real excited because, you know, I believe we're going to travel the galaxies. We're going to travel the universe at just a, you know, snap of a finger. I can't snap, by the way. <laughs> There's my snap. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyways, um, you know, we live in some times where, you know, um, rather than, than watching the news and seeing the bad news going on all around us, um, you know, get our Bibles out and and study the Word. And, of course, I preach to myself 
I preach to myself when I say that because I fall short too, believe me. I need to be reading my Bible every day because that's the Word. That's the powerful Word of God is the Holy Bible. But, uh, you know, read our Bibles and, and think of things above um, the life that's coming and the excitement and the good times that's coming for each and every one of us. Um, you know, I've been doing this since 2011, and boy, oh boy, have I seen some changes, you know, take place. And, uh, you know, things, things in this world are just ugly. They're very ugly. But, you know, there's still a lot of beauty left, too. You know, uh, looking behind me, you know, I, I love springtime. I love the trees, love the green grass. Um, you know, God's beauty is all around me, and I just... I try to soak in what we have, what's left that we have that's actually beautiful. But I just feel impressed in my heart that, you know, there's there's an there's an individual out there or maybe many people that are just dealing with some very rough stuff right now. Um whether it be health issues, um whether it be financial issues, whether it be prophetic issues, you're afraid of what's coming. Well, Rest assured, Jesus has not forgiven us, or I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, not forgotten us. Excuse me, that was awful. <laughs> He's always forgiven us. He is a forgiving Savior, so I meant to say He has not forgotten us. Um, He's there, He's faithful, and He's true. I know He's been, uh, He's been my rock that I've stood on. Have I broken His heart many a times? You betcha. Have I fallen short? You betcha. And I can humbly confess to you all that I am nothing but a sinner saved by grace. And I tell you what, I got to deal with this, this old flesh on a daily basis. And boy, oh boy, is it getting tiresome. Is it getting old? But uh, just try to reflect on the beauty that God has all around us, His Word, and, and praise Him. You know, one thing I found, if I'm going through a, a rough time, um, a spiritual battle, you know, I'll play a worship song, praise and worship song, or I'll just start praising him and just glorifying his holy name and putting my hands up in the air and just, just loving on him and praising him. That always helps me a lot, and I encourage each and every one of you to do that. But, um, you know, again, you know, we're in some... Uh, very dangerous interesting times and and I think what's important is we uh, we pray that as many come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior while there's still time left um, there's so many people that need prayer right now I need prayer um, we all need prayer but there are certainly a lot of brothers and sisters right now that are in are being persecuted unlike we've ever seen but yet they hold strong and their faith is strong. Um, we need to have that kind of faith where no matter what obstacle, no matter what comes against us, we know that God is in control and, and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He is dependable, he's faithful, and he's true. I have seen it many, many times in my life where, you know, I, I thought that I wasn't going to make it, you know. Um, well, to give you an example, you know, here uh, a couple weeks ago, you know, I've always uh, been a pretty healthy guy, and um, I've never I never spent a day in the hospital in my life, you know, and I went from feeling good one day to the next day, I'm in the hospital being checked for a heart attack. And praise be to God, um, there was no sign of me having a heart attack. It turns out um, I've been diagnosed with high blood pressure thanks to my wonderful genes and my family. We all take BP meds, and I guess it was my turn. But I'm still believing by faith that as I exercise and, you know, lose a little more weight, I'm hoping to get off those pills. But anyways... What I'm trying to say is, you know, don't take for granted what you have on a daily basis. Don't take for granted praising God on a daily basis. Um, 
because you know our life could be snuffed out at any moment because I really thought that I was getting ready to have a heart attack. My left arm went numb and um, you know the signs were there but again praise be to God I did not have a heart attack but uh, you know we need to rejoice we need to do all that we can on a daily basis um, to uh, to witness to the lost um, to uh, to live for Jesus and again I, I'm preaching to myself here too um, I'm not I'm not excluded you know I I need to work on that I need to work on a lot of stuff in my life too believe me but I've never forgot about Jesus and I love him with the very depths of my heart and my soul I love him with all my heart so don't want to take a lot of time out today just thinking about you all and just want to encourage you to keep looking up um, Jesus Christ is coming the signs are all around us things are coming together quickly more quick than I've ever seen I mean would you ever think back in 2011 that we'd be where we're at today you know six years later um, it's just amazing to me how how fast things are speeding at a rapid pace so you know I almost walk this old earth and I, I look at my property and I look around and I think you know I just want to you know appreciate what I got appreciate life the most that I can and enjoy God's beauty wherever I can find it because it's everywhere God's beauty is everywhere you just got to look for it and you just got to find it and just trust him that's what's most important just trust him so I pray that this has encouraged you all somewhat or a whole lot of hope um, again I don't want to make a lengthy video but I would like to pray for you all before I go if that's all right Lord Jesus, we come to you today and we thank you. We praise you, Father God. We thank you most of all for what you did for us on the cross of Calvary. Lord Jesus, we ask today that you would just strengthen our hearts, our minds, our souls, prepare our hearts for your glorious, glorious coming. Father God, just instruct us, help us as we run this finish line all the way to the end. Father God, be with us in a mighty, mighty way. And, oh Lord, those that have fallen away, Father God, bring them back to the fold, Lord Jesus. Father God, we know that you are coming back soon, that you're going to call us home. Prepare our hearts, convict our hearts, Lord Jesus, when we do things that are sinful. Father God, we pray you would convict our hearts by the power of your precious Holy Spirit. Hang on to us tight, Lord Jesus. Encourage us. Give us happiness, hope, and peace in these last days. And Father God, put people on our path that need to know you as their personal Savior. And Father God, be with all those that are being persecuted and martyred. Father God, just touch them in a mighty way, Lord Jesus. Father God, just be with them. May their enemies be spread far away. And may their enemies and all the people of the earth come to know you as their personal Savior before it's too late. And Father God, again, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We pray for all the, the, the missing children in this world. We pray that they would be found, that they would be rescued. Oh God, just we pray for Israel, for the peace, safety, and blessings of Israel, Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray for my church family here on YouTube and all about. Father God, I pray for strength in their hearts and their souls in these last days. Be with them in a mighty way, Lord. Father God, I appreciate them all. I love them all so much. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for only you and you alone are worthy to be praised. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Well. You all have a blessed day, blessed evening. Um, it's been wonderful coming on here. Just wanted to have that short little talk. I'm at 14 minutes now. So uh, I'm going to cut this short. I love you all. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, keep looking up. Jesus Christ is coming. God bless you all.